new AEW title was revealed on Rampage last night. Two more matches have been added to AEW Double or Nothing, and there's been negative whispers about Stephanie McMahon in WWE. Stay tuned for the news. So we are kicking things off with fairly uh, exciting news about a new title belt being revealed on AEW Rampage last night. Uh, we saw Dan Lambert, Ethan Page, and Scorpio Sky take to the ring uh, to show off our brand new AEW TNT Championship. Yeah, because Scorpio's belt kind of got a little bit... Just just a little bit it, it got maimed yeah. and mangled yeah. and it got destroyed <laughs> by that that heelish Sammy Guevara but last week uh, we saw Sammy Guevara Ty Conti and Frankie Kazarian destroy the the classic TNT championship yeah. design the black leather belt um, and they, they they didn't hold back Slit, like they, they ripped off the logo yeah <laughs> and it was it was brutal it was a it was a beating that we've not seen uh, happened to a belt in a while. Though. No, was it Greg Valentine once did it to the original like WWF IC title, like launching it yeah. against the cage to stop I it guess from being taken from him? Brody Lee kind of did it with the yeah. TNT belt. It, the TNT I, belt has no luck in the, the TNT together. belt's kind of like a chameleon belt, and I quite like it. It, mm. it feels like you know, once you're established as champion for a set amount of time, maybe you get yeah, your own little take on it and and this is beautiful i'm i'm a big fan of like gold straps mm -hmm. uh going all the way back to like the uh gold dust ic belt yeah which is just yes oh well, it's lovely i mean that belt design is did, iconic did ahmed johnson have like a gold one as well i think it, possibly I remember him possibly but yeah this new belt design uh was presented it was a it's a, a gold leather belt yep with purple accents mm -hmm. now if anyone's not familiar that is of course the colors of the los angeles lakers which just so happens to be scorpio skies favorite team he's from yeah. la makes there's, sense there's a couple of other references tied in isn't yes there? what is there uh right so, <laughs> so we, i need to <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? so we've got a uh, numbers eight and 24 are on the side plates of the belt which is of course a reference to the late great kobe bryant yeah. uh, the being the numbers that he played in through his career but it, it it's just yeah it's Look at it, man. It's gold a gorgeous on belt. gold and purple and the, the silver isn't like... Because when we had the first TNT belt, it was, oh, it's very silver. It was very silver and it was very plain and it was unfinished. Mm. And it was just this red leather with a silver plate and a black TNT logo in the middle. They have really gone off... You know, they've gone yeah. and done something that really stands out. It suits yeah. Scorpio Sky. It makes me think that they've got a lot more faith in him now, having a yeah. longer run potentially uh, with the belt. Well, you yeah, don't really you can't give keep a custom... this belt off TV. Look at it. <laughs> no, it's gorgeous. But that's uh, that's Scorpio Sky with a new TNT Championship. I hope uh, hope that one doesn't get damaged at any point soon. Fingers uh, crossed. But staying with <laughs> AEW and Scorpio Sky, we have two new matches added to Double or Nothing. Mm. Uh, it's a big show, Sam, and it Are you... keeps getting bigger are you ready to stay up until breakfast time it's gonna be a long one it's I'm, gonna be i'm, I'm gonna I, watch it it's, it's i genuinely it's, think it's gonna get past half five maybe 6 a.m i'm expecting about half five quarter to six that'll yeah. finish i think all out last year finished close to 6 a.m yeah uh, and then you'll you'll have you'll have some lovely news after that as well it's gonna be a great long <laughs> it's gonna be a hell of a night shift. it's gonna be a long night but yes this big card is getting bigger and bigger every aw show it seems uh we've got two new matches but the first being a mixed trios match pitting sammy guevara frankie's kazarian and ty conti against the men of the year that being scorpio sky and ethan page alongside america top team Paige Van Zant, which will be her in-ring debut in AEW. Yeah. So we've got that one coming up. But there's a second match. Well, first, actually, there is a stipulation added to this match. Okay. Uh, in which that if Scorpio Sky wins, it means that Guevara and Kazarian can never challenge for the TNT Championship. Oh, juicy. Now, juicy, juicy. Could this be the way of keeping Guevara out of the TNT title picture that he's kind of been stagnating in yeah well it'll kind of it'll it'll remove him from the picture for a while if he's not allowed to go near mm -hmm. it and it'll allow him to do something else and i think we all want to see more from everybody because AEW's roster is quite dynamic, isn't it? Everybody can oh, yeah. kind of play many roles and it, it's it's quite free form. There's so, a lot of people that come and go and yeah. Sammy Guevara just has been someone who's constantly been in this division and yeah. this level for such a long time. It's a shame that this stipulation also <laughs> means Kazarian can't challenge. Yeah. Because he's, he's not been around the TNT title for too long. It's just a case of, wait, you're not getting a shot, mate. Um, obviously, Kazarian being a former tag team partner of well, Scorpio Sky. That's it. It feeds into that, which is quite nice. And, you know, it'll allow that to kind of bubble over and maybe allow them to 
be a bit apart for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, keep them separate. You know, keep them separated. Um, but uh, there's also another match that's been added to the is. card. And uh, I mean, there was talk that he was going to be added. I think yesterday we were reporting that he'd been listed as, you know, attending and he was going to be present. Yeah. Uh, Darby Allen is going to be going one-on-one -on -one against Kyle O'Reilly. Allen threatened to ruin Adam Cole and the Young Bucks' matches at the pay-per-view had O'Reilly not accepted the challenge. So O'Reilly yes. was kind of pressured into it. Really, it was like, you're, you're getting this match, <laughs> otherwise your mates are having a really bad night. And this, of course, comes after O'Reilly attacked Sting on Dynamite, pilmanizing him. Uh, and wasn't it, did, was it pilmanization? Uh, yeah, 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 it was the, the, the steel chair like in the leg. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. The, he, Alan, Alan obviously trying to get revenge for his mentor and his, yeah. his best mate. It's like Alan is just like Sting's little kid that he's... Yeah, he's like, my dad can beat up your dad, but he, you, you beat up my dad, so, so I'm gonna beat, gonna up, beat up, you. up you. It's great. It's I'm, I'm really excited for this match. I'm glad that Alan is getting a showcase on Double or Nothing. It always feels weird when he's not on a pay per view well, or on a why, big card. Why wait till Sunday? Why wait till Sunday? Why not yeah. this afternoon, Fraser? Yeah, why not? Why not? We do it this afternoon. Now, me and Fraser are going to be on YouTube at 3 p.m. Yes. Doing a, a playthrough of the entire Double or Nothing card with these new two matches added to it's it. It's not uh, like I spent a long time yesterday <laughs> downloading every single member of uh, Double or Nothing's card only to find out that we've got, what, six more wrestlers yeah. to So we're going to get all that downloaded and ready, but 3 p.m. we are going to be going live over on I well, over on here, on the YouTube on the channel. YouTubes. I always mentally go toward Twitch. We're going to be live here on YouTube. YouTube, if you want to pop in, check it out, hang out with us for a bit while we play some 2K. It's going to be a great time. I'm, yeah. I'm really, I'm, I'm not I'm prepared gonna for this. I'm going to win everything. I've had about three total hours with the game. Wow. Well, <laughs> make sure you stick around and see who, who takes the victory. Um, but speaking of taking a victory, Ruby Soho has actually advanced to the finals of the Own Hearts Women's oh. Cup. Uh, she battled Chris Statlander on last night's AEW Rampage mm -hmm. in the semi-finals. Uh, she picked up the victory with an Oklahoma roll. Mm -hmm. uh, a nice wee sort of quick finish. Um, she'll face Britt Baker on Sunday night in the finals. It's going to be a good match. It's yeah, going to be another long that's, one. It's going to oh, get a lot of time. It's going to be a slog in the best possible way, I think. It's mm. going to be like a, a slow builder, maybe. It's oh. It's going to be good. Who do you think yeah. is going to win the I, respective cups? I, mm, I sort of want Ruby. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, who are you thinking on the men's side? I'm, I'm thinking Cole. But yeah. Joe's been on quite a run. I, it's Joe's kind of... But I could see them going the, Brett Baker and... It's like, does Joe need it? I want to see Joe with it. Does Joe really need it? I don't think Does he, Cole really need neither it? Neither of them really. Neither it's of them just, really. <laughs> give it to one of them. One of them will... Prediction is one of them Cut will win. Cut it in half and we'll lay cool it. There we go. Yeah. But yes, Brett Baker <laughs> will also have the opportunity to walk away with the Own Heart Cup on Sunday night. Hopefully, uh, you know, best of luck to Brett. Yeah. Ruby Soho, though, is uh, is going to the finals. Uh, and we've got two more stories. Next up is over on the NXT side of things. Yeah. What is it, Sam? So uh, Nikita Lyons, who was the expected winner of the NXT Women's Breakout Tournament, was apparently pulled, according to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, due to a partial MCL tear and knee sprain. So we talked, if you don't really know, MCL, ACL, cruciate ligaments there's a lot, there, of, there's lot, a lot different of, of a lot of different CLs but they're all kind of similar with stuff like that you got to be very careful you know it, it's it affects your mobility quite heavily and it takes a very long time mm. to recover if you know it gets to a set stage so uh, this is probably quite a preventative measure here and hopefully yes. it means that there's going to be less time away uh, but Lions won't be out of action for very long according to Meltzer so fingers crossed, fingers that crossed it's just a very action. small partial tear and should be back before long yeah, well, I'm speaking on, on Dave Meltzer. She won't be winning the thing. That... Oh, yeah, Suck, she won't be winning that. I think that she had a, a good bet that she was yeah. going to win that one. And, of course, Wade Barrett being our number one fan is going to be gutted. She's going to be off TV for a little while. Yeah. Uh, but staying with Dave Meltzer's reports from the Wrestling Observer, uh, he, he said there were some negative whispers about Stephanie McMahon in WWE, which is is uh, jumping off the back of the stories that she's taking some time away from WWE. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he said, in cases like this, there would be people saying negative things on the way out. And there are but they're doing so very quietly because nobody would want to be caught doing so as you would imagine you don't want to be caught bad mouthing the boss's daughter no and especially when the boss is a McMahon mm. definitely not definitely no there'll, not. there'll be vengeance uh, and well and he said while there will always be people like that we don't have any indication it's many people we've been certain people who were not high on her even though the company has pushed her as one of the leading female sports executives mm -hmm. in the country and she's been nominated for many awards because she was the public face of a thriving company one person 
naughty to us that the people who were frustrated with her were the type who would ask her something and she would have to run it by Vince because at the end of the day, like everyone, for any big decision, it's Vince McMahon. Even Nick Khan has to run everything through Vince. I think that's sort of, yeah, it, it must get irritating to be like, hey, can we chat about this? Hey, can we do that? What do you think about this? And it, the answer's always, I'll run it by Vince and then you'd likely hear nothing because you know Vince is the busiest He's person busy in the world. Man. So I, I think that, you know, a lot of that frustration would probably ferment and grow and grow and grow and you know it may be unjustly if, if it's in stephanie's role that she has to report uh, stuff like this that's to how Vince, then corporations sort of, work yeah you know it goes up the, the chain of yeah. command right like imagine there's there would be people coming at her going like i really want to get used in this way yeah. and at the, at the end of the day it's vince's call it's got to be yeah the, the, as you said there's a chain of command so yeah maybe it is unjust that some people are, are bad mouthing stephanie obviously she's taken some time away from wwe yeah. it's personal reasons that haven't really been revealed no um, I, I think either way more about this will be coming out eventually because you know it, it's a very big thing for stephanie mcmahon to step away from the company and you know it was trending pretty much yeah, when, yeah. when it happened and it was you know i i think that there'll be there'll be more to it eventually we'll probably be I'm sure we'll be sat updates. here talking about it at some point when there's an yeah. update on that one. But until then, we will be back this afternoon with another news video. At 3 p.m., we will be going live, as Sam said, playing Double or Nothing right here on YouTube. Uh, is there any other things you want to plug, Sam? No, not particularly. That's you should fantastic. probably go and crack on with the edit. Crack on with the edit. Fantastic. We will see you soon. <laughs>